Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. Uh, welcome back if you are a subscriber and I'm inviting any of you who haven't subscribed yet to go ahead and subscribe uh, and like this video if it resonates. So uh, I'm doing a reading right now for Divine Feminine energies, divine masculine, and what energies they're sharing right now. So this is a general reading. I'm not tuning into one divine feminine or one divine masculine, but a collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. Interesting. So another card got hit and the high priestess flipped over. So if you are tuning into this reading, that might be a, a nice hello to you. You are intuitive and also a wink to the divine feminine. Maybe there's uh, a divine feminine who's showing up and this is a tip of the hat to you so all right let's start with the divine feminine divine feminine in the past was in the energy of teach the emperor in reverse there was something um in the divine feminine energy um not willing to see something, not willing to learn something. Feels like the universe was trying to get the divine feminine energy to see something clearly and there was an inability to see it, an inability or unwillingness to um to receive what was being told to them. And it was causing the divine feminine to feel very weak. Not, it, it was very unempowering. Whatever this was for each divine feminine, it kept divine feminine energy unempowered and stuck unable to move forward. And in a, a, a cycle of inability to move forward, again, stuck, unempowered, um, unwilling or unable to see what was going on and to learn the lesson. Wow. So that's in the divine feminine's past. In divine feminine's present energy is five of cups. Change your focus. So I'm getting that the divine feminine in present energy has changed your focus. You're no longer stuck if you are tuning in as a divine feminine you're no longer the divine feminine energy is no longer stuck in whatever this is that a lesson that was unlearned that it feels like it gets louder and louder until you you couldn't ignore it you couldn't ignore that whatever this is that you were unwilling or unable to see that it was keeping you unempowered and keeping you very stuck and in a same cycle, um, stuck and not moving forward. And whatever is going on now in present energy, you've changed your focus. You're not grieving about something from the past. You're moving forward. Interesting. 
five of cups upright, clarifying the five of cups in reverse. Interesting. So what that tells me, since I'm tuning into divine feminine collective energy, is there are some divine feminine energies who are moving forward, who have changed their focus, who are no longer focusing on what did not work. And then there's another aspect of the divine feminine who's still focusing on the past and what did not work still stuck in that grieving phase and stuck excuse me saying it that way makes me feel like um that just painted it that that um you're not doing things correctly or you're not moving fast enough and and then I got a, an instant message that whether you are five of cups in reverse or five of cups upright that where you are in this process is right for you that nobody can decide other than yourself if um it, it's not a competition you're not competing with other divine feminines or divine masculine or anybody else this is your unique healing path and it's going to take as long as it's going to take. And so just an acknowledgement that you're right where you need to be. And there isn't a one way of doing things. What I'm getting with that five of cups upright is this is a, a very strong connection. There might have been trauma bonding. And so it's created a lot of confusion. I'm getting like, is, is this a soul connection or is this trauma bonding or is it both? There's such a strong tie to this past energy that just acknowledging that this isn't has not been easy for the divine feminine it's made it more difficult for divine feminine energy to start out on something new. It feels like it's kind of aged you. I mean, just um, because of like an exhaustion energy, it's hard to strike out and do something new. But for most of you, whether you've completed this cycle or not, you have definitely made a choice whether you're going to stay with or stay open to this energy in the past or move forward. You're out of that, I don't know, decision. You definitely, it feels like the divine feminine has made a, a decision. And I'm getting that there's no wrong decision. Each of us have freedom of choice. It's your decision. And it's your decision that nobody else can um, judge. Well, they can, but um, it should have no bearings on how you proceed forward. Uh, in the center of your reading, your higher self, divine feminine, is in the energy of release, death, letting go, letting go of what no longer serves you. There's definitely been in the divine feminine energies this past year that clarity, realizing, seeing things very clearly see seeing what serves you and what no longer serves you and letting go shedding old versions of yourself shedding old beliefs shedding people and connections and situations that aren't going to allow you to 
become the person you've always wanted to be. And it feels like you, the divine feminine energies at the center of this last year has been focused on finding their own stability, their own security, their own safety. Not waiting for someone outside of them to show up on a, a night, just waiting for that old paradigm, that old archetype of waiting for your knight in shining armor to come rescue you. It feels like you deciding I'm going to be my own knight in shining armor. I'm going to save myself. I'm going to not seek security, stability, abundance outside of myself. I'm going to release what no longer serves me and become um, that stability for myself. Wow, very empowering, very empowering. Divine feminine, um, divine feminine energy's challenge right now is to shine, to not be afraid of stepping into the limelight, to allow yourself to be yourself. Feels like um, there are people and situations and connections around the divine feminine who want the divine feminine energy to stay hidden, to stay unexpressed, to stay less than, and to not be yourself, to be an archetype of what divine feminine energies um, suit them, suit their cause. And the challenge has been to just be yourself, to step into the light of divine femininity, to realize how powerful, showing yourself how powerful and how empowering receptivity and allowing is. That feminine energy of receptive energy, allowing, allowing blessings to come into your experience that you've got to be you that uh, you're no longer going to be satisfied playing it small so others feel comfortable around you. Wow, nice. All right, let's go to divine masculine energies. So in the past, divine masculine energies were in four of cups, opportunity beckons. So four of cups deals with not turning your back on not looking at the opportunities that are being presented. And I, I concur to find masculine energies in the past, like wanting things to stay the same, not wanting the new opportunities that are coming in, not even understanding what they represent, what that offering is. And so in the past, divine masculine turn their back on new opportunities. New opportunities for emotional fulfillment, but it feels like um, turning divine masculine energies in the collective, turning their back on um, divine feminine, turning their back on um, a new way of seeing things, new opportunities. Trying to avoid a, a tower, the divine masculine was, could just feel this, this tower. I don't want things to change. I know the foundation is corrupt. I know the foundation of what the collective 
how the collective has been sharing divine feminine and divine masculine energies has been uneven. And it would take so much to have to change the way I see things, the way, you know, divine masculine perceives things and behaves and it just feels exhaustive. And so there's this trying to keep the divine feminine from this growth so they they don't have to experience a tower so they don't have to experience um an inevitable change so there's definitely in divine masculine past energy an unwillingness to take that leap forward to recognize and acknowledge the foundation is corrupt and instead a lot of divine masculines went into manipulation mode um trying to manipulate themselves lying to themselves lying just trying to it feels like i, I just want to keep things in the status quo not wanting to argue or fight it feels like a, a lack of understanding that that trying to resist change and calling it wanting to keep peace feel like um there's a real self deception that was going on in the past in divine masculine energies here and and then that self-deception was um probably i feel like in the divine feminine energies that says a lot about something that the divine feminine was unwilling to see and it was keeping divine feminine energy unempowered and unable to move forward and i feel like this was a, a good uh, not a good but a, a match the divine masculine the divine masculine's inability or unwillingness to acknowledge the faulty foundations wanting to keep things at status quo resistant to change lying to themselves and others it, that does match uh, on both sides that I'm seeing. All right, divine masculine energy in present time is in nine of swords reversed, darkest fears. Feels like right now the divine masculine is dealing with those divine fears or darkest fears being brought to light whatever you were the divine masculine was trying to hide trying to hide from themselves trying to avoid a tower trying to avoid looking at the opportunities for change that are inevitable that are destined now the divine masculine is facing from all this resistance facing their darkest fears. The good news is that I'm seeing that divine masculine energies, once they face these fears, once they see the truth coming out, there's a lot of quick motion forward, fast. Now I see it. Now, instead of resisting the truth, instead of trying to resist change, I'm facing my fears and I'm making quick progress forward. I'm no longer stuck in a space of indecision. I'm willing to see now. I'm willing to acknowledge the truth. This feels very divinely guided inner work. I see what's going on now. 
This is also very much the divine masculine right now is really in their mental body. Doesn't feel like as of yet that the divine masculine can really embody the changes, the balancing that's happening between divine feminine and divine masculine. That right now, for now, understanding the truth of it all, seeing the truth helps clear their fears, clears up any indecision and makes um, next steps fast and decisive. Uh, Divine Masculine's center of their reading is Five of Wands, challenging times in reverse. Feels like the challenging times, like the divine masculine has been resisting this change, resisting um, looking at their own stuff, feeling defensive because uh, feeling personally attacked instead of seeing this on a global or large scale, a collective issue, taking personally any changes that the divine feminine has made, taking that personally instead of supporting and, and wanting them to change, um, wanting to be an ally to their advancement. This is in reverse, so it feels like the divine masculine is learning to not take these changes personally, that this is spiritual evolution taking place, that this isn't personal. This isn't a personal attack. Oh, I get this. This is the collective wanting, making choices about bringing balance to masculine and feminine energies. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Um, right now, what the divine masculine is challenged with is rest and reconsider nine of wands. Nine of wands is battle wearied soldier. Someone who feel like the divine masculine perceives that they they've been attacked in some way by the divine feminine energies instead of realizing that the divine feminine energies have been creating healthy boundaries their divine masculines realizing that these healthy boundaries are for everyone but it's time to see things from a new vantage point. That everybody is cut from the same cloth. There's, there's no one, it's not a, a personal attack. That also from that resting and reconsidering phase that divine masculine energies by the divine feminine energies moving forward and creating healthy boundaries and clearing house of what no longer serves them, that this is something that everyone can do. Everyone benefits from healthy boundaries. Everyone benefits from seeing things from a broader point of view a broader perspective. All right, some shared energies between um, divine feminine and divine masculine are four of pentacles, open up. Shared energies, four of pentacles talks about clinging on, holding on to something out of fear, 
it looks like both divine feminine and divine masculine energies are learning how to, I'm getting like a codependence, learning, seeing the codependency. I'm also getting trauma bonding, creating uh, a new way that by holding on, by being dependent on one another, feminine energy, divine feminine and divine masculine, that um, you can't reach 10 of pentacles with that clinging, needy type of energy because it just, you drain each other instead of working on your own energies and choosing to be with someone instead of, of needing a neediness. So it feels like both divine and feminine and divine masculines realizing that old ways of being needy does not work does not lead to ultimate fulfillment, does not lead to stability and security and safety. Instead, both parties, both sides get drained, stuck in a, a pattern of fear and neediness instead of um, trust and expansion and growth. Another shared energy between divine feminine and divine masculine is flow. I think this is in the very center of the reading what both the divine feminine and divine masculine energies are learning the capability of tuning into your own intuition not taking so much from needing others to approve of or validation from the outside but tuning into your own heart your own energy listening to your own emotions your own inner guidance so you can decide where to go so by doing that by going within to find your answers then you're not looking outside of you for Uh, the answers, because the answers would be past answers. And this is a new age, a new way of seeing things, a new way of doing things. And so they haven't been written before. It's something new and fresh. And so to find that new way of doing things, there's a, a finding that each of us holds our answers within. It isn't about... giving away the responsibility and accountability to allow someone else to make decisions for you. It's about going within to really find those answers that are tailor-made for you because they're within you. Beautiful. All right. Another shared energy between divine masculine and divine feminine is three of pentacles in reverse. Reach out. There has been um, a lack of working together. There might be a, a chasm, uh, not feeling safe and secure. Maybe divine feminine right now doesn't trust divine masculine energies and divine masculine energies there's something about where the energies are right now um a, a lack of working together a lack of reaching out a lack of um building bridges back to each energy and getting that both sides divine feminine and divine masculine um, are perceive that 
the other needs to apologize. They didn't do it right. They were hurtful and left a wounding, a woundedness. Maybe there's um, divine masculine and divine feminine energies both share that feeling of being abandoned. And so from there stems the, a lack of um, trust, a lack of building a bridge. Looks like both energies have Both energies are a bit stuck that haven't fully seen. It feels like they, they've separated. The divine feminine and divine masculine energies have, there's definitely this, a, a bit of a chasm in the collective. And they, both sides have yet to really come to full enlightenment and seeing how to build a bridge back to each other. Both sides feel a bit hung up on past wounds and and not being able to fully um, see the opportunities to work together and what that would bring. Yeah, both sides feel that the other is um, manipulative, using their wiles to um, obfuscate, to use and take advantage of the other. There's a lack of, so whatever has happened in the collective between the divine feminine and the divine masculine, there's a lot of, a lack of, of trust that goes both ways. And as long as that energy persists, it's going to keep everybody a bit stuck. Um, let's see if we've got any messages. Let's start with the divine feminine. Any messages, divine feminine messages to the divine masculine? I can't reach out. This is divine feminine communicating to divine masculine. I feel the sexual tension. I miss seeing you. I want you so badly. So there's this, I can't reach out. I, I miss the other half of this union i i miss it on a, a very bodily sexual space i miss you i want you i'm not over you so these are all messages from the divine feminine of of um Things timing might not be right for reaching out, but I, I want the divine masculine to know that they are wanted. I can feel that pull. I haven't completely cut divine masculinity out of my life. I I'm, there is a desire here to build a bridge. All right, what does ma divine masculine? energy in the collective wants to say to divine feminine energies. 
I don't know what you want. So, right, that feels like a, a divine masculine energy anytime in the world of, I don't know, you know, it's very confusing. Divine feminine energy is very confusing to divine masculine energy or can be. I don't know what you want. I don't know how to feel. A lot of this energy in the divine masculine side is that they're up in their mental body in present energy. And so I, I feel they're very confused about how to feel, especially if if the divine masculine has had this chasm, an energetic or separation from divine feminine energy, divine feminine creates a nurturing safe space to feel and without holding space for divine masculine, a safe place to feel, maybe the divine masculine hasn't learned how, as a collective, how to hold space for their own feelings. That maybe they've depended on divine feminine energy for so long. And maybe that's one of the things that they're learning how to embody with themselves, permission to feel and how how to feel emotions in a safe way. I watch your social media. So some spying, some, um, I don't know how to build that bridge to divine feminine energy. So um, the only way I know how to get back into your energy is to and try to figure out this whole thing is somehow getting into you, you're watching you in social media. Okay, these two. I feel so happy with you. Divine masculine's definitely missing. Now it feels like they're, you know, I an acknowledgement acknowledging how important divine feminine energies is maybe divine masculine energies turn their back and didn't want to acknowledge or how much they appreciated what you brought to the table maybe they felt that divine masculine energy is how everybody should run their energy instead of really appreciating the differences that you brought to the table. I wish we could go back. So there is this reluctance for divine masculine, you know, feels like the, the divine feminine took the lead in this change in, in the collective. And um, it's a lot of hard work a lot of internal work and dealing with emotions and there's in that I wish we could go back from divine masculine there's a little bit of victimy a little bit of feeling like I've had to I feel forced to make these changes instead of deciding to make these changes myself I feel like divine feminine energies have waited and waited and waited for the divine masculine to take the lead but um realized at some point they're not going to take the lead in this collective shift of balancing the masculine and feminine energies that actually they will do whatever it takes to resist balancing this out they will ignore and avoid and even lie to themselves and lie to others and try to keep it the same. So, wow, so interesting. I hope this was helpful. Um, if this resonated with you, I would appreciate a like. Any type of comments where you want to share your experience with how this resonated with you, I'd appreciate. And 
Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and share this video with someone who would appreciate this so we can grow this channel. So, all right, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, have a great day. Bye.